Hi, my name is Steve Tegler. I'm Senior Director of Systems Engineering at VMware's Cloud Native Apps Business Unit. And this quick light board is all about uh, Kubernetes networking and specifically Kubernetes networking uh, requirements. And there's, you know, uh, you know, a few different options with networking today um, with Kubernetes. Um, you know, I'm going to compare two different models. Uh, I'm going to pick the open source model because um, that's what people tend to gravitate uh, towards because of the open source nature of, of Kubernetes. And then I'm going to compare that with uh, the potential VMware uh, way of, uh, of uh, providing a networking solution here. And so, you know, the, a lot of times what, what some will do is they'll take a look at these, um, the two different options and they'll just say, well, is it either NSX or is it a technology called flannel? And because uh, that basically uh, is kind of the de facto networking that, uh, that uh, is with Kubernetes today. The problem with that uh, comparison here is that this is really only layer two connectivity between the actual pods within Kubernetes. So if I have a pod here and a pod here within the same Kubernetes cluster, uh, Flannel basically provides the connectivity between those pods. Of course, uh, NSX can do that function as well. But normally, uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to get out. Um, you'll need some north-south traffic, so to speak, in and out of the cluster and, and um, out of the network for these pods. So what I'll have to do is I'll, I'll provide some north-south connectivity and then it goes out to some network somewhere. And so we call that uh, layer three connectivity. And in that case, um, what you'll need on the open source side is a technology called Calico. And of course, on the VMware side, um, we're going to continue to leverage NSX here because not only can it provide layer two, but it can also provide uh, layer three. And so that'll get, that'll get me out of the pod. Next up, we're going to do uh, layer four. And by layer four, I'm really talking about the security policy. You know, in Kubernetes, of course, it gives you these great constructs to, um, you know, provide the connectivity for the workloads themselves, and namely security policy is one, but it doesn't provide you an implementation detail. So, of course, that's when you need a technology again. So, in this case, this is Calico, uh, which can provide that functionality on the open source side. And then, of course, on uh, the VMware side, NSX continues to provide that, uh, that functionality. So there you go, layer two, layer three, layer four. Those are kind of the basics around networking security. Beyond that though, um, most cloud native applications require some sort of a load balancer. And again, Kubernetes gives you a great construct to be able to define load balancers here. And so in this case, we've got our load balancer here. And uh, the technology over here on the open source side is gonna be something like Nginx. And or maybe like HA proxy, okay. And that will give me, you know, potentially some load balancing functionality over here on the Kubernetes side. Uh, of course, NSX continues to provide that functionality as well. So you can see for the basic Kubernetes networking within the same cluster, so to speak, I can provide this connectivity. Um, now, beyond just Kubernetes connectivity, you may have some requirements to bring in external workloads. And those external workloads could be uh, virtual machines. Um, they could be another Kubernetes cluster or workloads inside other, other Kubernetes clusters. So what we'll need to do, what would, might be nice to do here is really to, uh, like security is a great example. Maybe in, if these are virtual machines here, I have a security policy that not only encompasses the pods in Kubernetes, but it can also encompass uh, these virtual machines as well. And with NSX, I have the ability to provide micro-segmentation not only um, at the virtual machine level, but also at the pod level as well. So in this case, you know, let's just call this external connectivity. And uh, NSX can uh, definitely provide that. Uh, on the open source side, it's going to be something that lives outside of like the core Kubernetes network uh, networking piece. And so this is, you know, this kind of basically summarize the, summarizes the connectivity options here. Um, you know, beyond the basic connectivity and the basic functionality of connecting and load balancing and securing, you know, there's a day two aspect of this. And the day two aspect is really about end to end troubleshooting 
configuration, and even something simple like metrics or uh, stats collection. And the big thing, which you'll see here, is that on the NSX side, I have a single API I go to to get that information. It is the single source of truth for all networking happening um, uh, potentially in your, in your data center. Whereas on the open source side, um, again, we've got the, because we have to leverage different technologies here, I have to go to three different interfaces to collect the information, to do the configuration that's required. And so when it comes down to troubleshooting, like maybe this pod can't talk to that virtual machine, uh, on the open source side, it can be really, really tough uh, just because I don't have that single source of truth. Whereas on the NSX side, we have a technology called Traceflow, which allows us uh, through the GUI in NSX to go pick this virtual machine and pick that pod, and it will basically draw a, a logical map between all the different things, including the security policies that get hit, and you can see every step of the way um, uh, the network flow that occurs between those different uh, devices. So hopefully this sheds some light on kind of the real difference. Uh, again, a lot of the time we get the NSX versus uh, flannel discussion happening, but the reality is you've got to look at the entire networking stack of Kubernetes, and you have to look at the apps and what they're going to require. And generally, it's layer two, layer three. There's security policy and load balancing. So you got to go figure out how to get that done. NSX, single solution, uh, versus maybe uh, some open source, uh, three different open source methods. Thanks for watching. Thank you.